Hey guys, I'm back today with this really pretty makeup look. Um, I started off as usual washing my face with my products. The links to these will be down in the bottom. I use my Koji Berry Clearance Soap to wash my face with and my Lemon Dream Face Cream. Um, that's the only thing I have on my face right now. Now what I'm going to do is start off with my brows. Um, as y'all have been noticing, I've always used two different brow pencils for my brows because I like how it makes my eyes, well, my eyebrows look when I do this. So the first pencil I'm starting off with is the Jordana eye pencil as y'all can see it's one that I have to sharpen so we're gonna get into that in a little bit but what I do is just basically fill in the front of my brows with the Jordana pencil it may seem a little dark now you guys but y'all see in the end it's gonna work out so what I do is fill in my um front brows with the Jordana pencil and then what I'll do is go in with the Colourpop pencil the Colourpop pencil is in a brown black i don't remember if i said what color the jordana is but the jordana is a medium brown and the color pop is a brown black so honestly you guys i did go ahead and order a lighter brown pencil from color pop so i'm going to use the brown black and as well as the lighter brown that i ordered from color pop because i absolutely love the color pop pencil y'all it's very annoying to me to have to go ahead and sit there and sharpen a pencil i'm being very honest so now what i'm just basically going to do is brush it back and if y'all see what's happening it gives it a beautiful gradient effect and that's exactly how i love my eyebrows to look you guys i forgot to put this um primer on my face normally i do this before i start any of my makeup even my brows because it actually helps my brows stay on all day this is the milk hydro primer that um, i'm new to but it's not something that's new but it's new to me and i absolutely love it so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my face and like i said earlier typically i put it over my eyes and my eyelids and my eyebrows as well but i forgot so now i'm going ahead and putting it and all I'm going to do is rub that all over my face, you guys. Might as well my brows are, of course. And just sit there and let that dry for a bit. I typically just leave it and do this first because by the time I get ready to put my foundation, it's set there tacky and sticky like I need it to be. I am going to be using these brushes today. The I Love, I Live professional eye brushes by Juvia place i already took them out the packages and everything like that you guys this is not a sponsored video i'm just telling you this ahead of time all of this stuff i purchased myself because i did a huge haul um with Juvia's place so this is one of the things that i got i am going to be starting off with um my concealer by pretty fresh i believe this one is the 115 w this is what I'm going to use to just clean up my brows basically and one of those flat brushes from the um, eyebrow, not eyebrow, sorry, the makeup brushes that you guys just saw. So I'm just going to use that under my, um, under my brows basically to clean up my brows. I'm not going to take it all over my lid and stuff. Y'all know if y'all following me and in my, one of my previous videos, I told y'all I'm not going to be doing that no more. So, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my brows, you guys, and I'm going to put this at the top and the bottom of my brows. Now what I'm going to be doing you guys is taking this Sigma eye primer base and I absolutely love it. It is in Persuade. I'm basically going to put that on both of my eyelids. Um, um kind of midway um, to uh, my brow bone and then I'm going to go ahead and get a brush and blend it out. <music> to be 
using two palettes from Julia's Place. The first one is going to be the Warrior 2 palette. And the two colors that I'm going to be mixing together is going to be Wozana and Jamada. I don't even know how to pronounce these things. I'm not going to even much lie. But those are two colors that I'm going to use on that um, with that brush right there, you guys. I'm only going to be honestly using three colors I, um, for this eye look. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pat, tap, and blend. It may be coming off kind of purplish black to you guys on camera. But you guys will see when the finished look, the actual color. It is kind of... It is it's like a plummy kind of color honestly so it's gonna turn out to be a plummy kind of color so what I'm basically gonna do is blend those two eyeshadows together until I get my desired look honestly so I'm just gonna be going back and forth um you know with them blending them out and seeing what my desired color is that I really want to do with this look you guys so it's nothing special I'm literally just blending 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 <laughs> until I get the color that I want all right you guys the second palette i'm going to be using is the nubian 2 by Truvia's place and i'm going to be taking nairobi it is a very beautiful golden um like a tan golden color y'all i just stuck my finger in my um other eyeshadow <laughs> but anyways i'm going to go ahead and place nairobi all over my um lid and i'm going to be using like a it's kind of like a fluffy pointer brush but you can use it as a eyeshadow y'all gonna see what i'm doing i'm just gonna put that all over my lid and blend it upward to have a gradient effect into that um plummy color that y'all saw me create <music> you guys see me doing now is basically um getting uh the brush that i used for the first two colors i'm just getting that same brush and blending the first color first two colors should i say with the gold color just to give it like a gradient effect there is no extra product that was picked up or anything like that it is just whatever was left on the brush and then from whatever is on my eyes right now what I'm doing is just blending it all together to make it seamlessly blend so you guys don't see like you see on my other eye just you can clearly see the gold and then where the um, plummy color is so I'm blending it together so it'll be seamless all right you guys I am done blending the left the right side if you guys see what I'm talking about you see how on that side you can clearly see it but then on the other side you see how it just fades I'm going to do the same thing to this side so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the first palette that I was working with and take those two colors that I have um, as the first color and I'm going to go ahead and take that um, smudger brush and smudge it into my lash line <music> I'm going to be using these magnetic eyelashes that you guys have been seeing me use in the previous videos. Today, you guys, I am going for the big ones. <laughs> yes, we are going for those. And those are the ones that I'm going to be using. But first, I am just going to go ahead and shake up the eyeliner and line my eyes with the eyeliner and just let that sit and dry. So y'all going to see what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation and I got it in a 3.15 and this is the foundation I'm going to be using today and I'm going to take, um, I forgot exactly how many pumps of this foundation that I use but um, I know I did have to 
mix it um oh that's the brush that i'm going to be using it's like kind of an angled kabuki brush you guys um and i do know that i had to mix this foundation with a little bit of the um cat Von D locket um uh, foundation i believe that one was a neutral or something like that neutral 65 which is the cat Von d one i don't think i showed it in the video but you guys will see i'm putting this on my face and it is like a bit I don't know it's missing some darkness to it so that's why i had to mix the cap and the foundation with it but i'm just gonna go ahead and stipple that all over my face with that brush what i'm gonna be using now is this elf concealer and i actually like this concealer um it is in the color olive now this is to me like well y'all see it um it's gonna give me a natural highlight so i'm just gonna be using this to highlight my face I'm going to be taking next this Laura Mercier um, setting powder. It's in translucent. And I'm going to go ahead and set wherever it is that I put the concealer at. What you all see me doing right now is just going over my wing with this Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because it's in the previous video I told y'all that um, mascara or well, the liner for the other one is a little bit sticky. So I'm just going over it with my Milani um, eyeliner for my wing. What I'm going to go ahead and do now you guys is take this bronzer by Sephora and just bronze my face. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take my LA Girl Pro Face Powder as a pressed powder and this is in warm caramel and I'm going to use this as my all over face powder with this big old fluffy um, brush from Juvia's Place. <music> you guys now i'm gonna go ahead and apply the lashes now i have done everything um <laughs> face contour powder and all that stuff before i do my lashes reason being because i wanted to give it enough time to dry it doesn't take that long to dry but i'm so used to just you know wearing mascara and doing my lashes last um that this is what i did with this now if i was not using magnetic lashes y'all wouldn't have seen me do any of that y'all would have just seen me put my eyeliner and then go ahead and wait but all i'm doing is just putting on the magnetic lashes and now you see me just pressing my own nail my own nails <laughs> my own lashes into those lashes y'all i absolutely love these lashes all right you guys i'm going to go ahead now with my lippies I'm using Snob Lipstick by MAC and my BFF3 um, Lip Pencil by Colourpop. You guys, I know that a lot of you guys are like, what? Yeah, but I've had this for years. This is the Simpsons Limited Edition Collection that MAC had. It's in Side Show You. It is the Marge Simpson one. It is a very beautiful pink blush that goes great with all skin tones. That's Marge right there in the imprint. You guys, I'm telling you, honestly, I have never even used this blush since I bought it years and years and years ago. But it is a very pretty, beautiful blush. I'm just going to use that same um, powder brush that I used for my all over face powder and put the blush on. Y'all, that is beautiful. If you see that, oh my God, it is so beautiful. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, thumbs up, and leave some comments. I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye!